friends, today we're doing something a little different. Let's start off with a bit of a history lesson. This is a cadmium red deep bottle from 1960s is what I dated these for. Um, I have a, a picture from an advertisement from 1969, so that's the earliest technically, but I'm pretty sure like mid 60s when this type of packaging started. This says SL. This stands for Selected List. They've been using SL on Windsor & Newton bottles from pretty early on. Um, I don't know exactly when they started or when they stopped. I think they stopped sometime in the 70s, 80s, somewhere around there. But Selected List means that they, uh, uh, what Windsor & Newton's official account says is that they're, they can be mixed with no loss of permeance. They can be mixed, that they're all light fast, they all work together. That's what it means, selected list. Here is a bottle, uh, also cadmium red, from the 1950s. They used SL back then, but they didn't actually say selected list as the whole full phrase on the bottle. I don't know. Cadmium red, SL. They've been using this pretty early on. Here's a bottle from the 1940s. Again, SL. Maybe a little later than the 1940s. It doesn't have... Eh. Maybe early 50s. SL. They've been using these for a very long time. So, my friends, what the hell is this? Do you know? Because Windsor and Newton certainly does not. I asked the American on via Facebook, their social media account, what is this? What does the was there a Cambridge line? Line? What does PL mean? They have no idea. They said they talked to their uh, English counterpart in England, um, and they said they have records that go back to the 1930s, and they have no idea. They have no record of PL. It's 39 instead of 37, CC. They have no record of Cambridge. For all I know, this came from an alternate universe. If anyone has any information at all about what PL stands for, let, drop me a line. Let me know. Here's a couple of other other little clues here. I estimate this is from the 50s because the 60s is when they started using this type of packaging. And in, after that, they started using enamel on their tubes like they do with, with modern, with modern uh, still metal, but enamel coated tubes. So I said, and I bought it from an eBay listing where it was packed with, this was one of the things it came with. Like it was packed with other paints from the 60s. So I assume this is late 50s, maybe mid 50s, early 60s. But I have no idea what PL means. It, like it looks like it came from the same gene generic era. Was Cambridge a student line? Winton is one of the modern student lines and they've existed. I've seen bottles that go back to the 50s. They are, I've also seen bottles that literally say student oils on it, student paint, student grade. So I don't know. I don't know where this is from. These bottles were embossed on the lid. These were not. But that being said, this could have been replaced. Caps get lost. They fall off the table. They roll under table. And then you go, oh crap, that's lost forever now. So people replace the caps all the time. You'll see vintage tubes from the 40s, 50s with modern plastic caps because things just get lost. And here's the ta -da, more, yeah, yeah. But I have a modern ish rose matter to go with this rose matter. This is not, this is like 15 years, is 10, 15 years old. The packaging is, yeah. I don't know how old exactly. It, I just, I just kind of have it. It has a barcode though, so that's like, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a comparison with these things. But if anyone knows anything about this at all, let me know. Because I do not. Okay. Yeah. Like I opened this for the first time yesterday. I'm being very careful. Yeah. We've got some. Ooh. That looks kind of grainy. Also, while we're here, look at this canvas. It has another piece of canvas stuck to it. Don't buy this brand, or you might get things like this. But anyway, enough of my ranting. Ooh, yes, rose matter genuine. 
Now we're gonna get some type modern titanium white. One day I'll have vintage titanium white, but today is not that day. Yeah, come on, there we go. Now I fight with the lid like I always do with this bottle. Hey, went on this time. Okay. Let's do a little mix. Yeah, that's good old rose matter. That is a pretty color. That's why people like rose matter. Okay. Gonna wipe off this paint. Gonna wipe off this paint. Yeah. Okay. Now we got modern rose matter. It's focus rose matter genuine. This one is a little leaky, I guess, because I haven't used it in a while, so there might be more oil than there should be. And it's not bad. <laughs> Thought it was going to be worse. Thought it was just going to be like a little fountain. And I'm wearing gloves because vintage paints mostly and for no other reason. There we go. Oh, a little too oily, but a little too oily, but that happens. It's a little different from the from whatever line the Cambridge line is. Gonna mix some white. There we go. Should probably move the vintage tube out of the way. Gonna just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's more or less the same. At least a little bit more red in there. Okay, so that's pretty much identical. That pleases me. So yeah, vintage, modern. It's it's pretty much the same with the rose matter because it's rose matter genuine. But if anyone knows anything, what does PL mean? Does L stand for list or does it mean something else? I don't think it means professional line because the selected list is the professional line, I think. Um, the back of the bottles are also very different. Someone wrote that it's opaque. Um, yeah. If anyone knows anything, let me know, because I am very confused. This is a mystery bottle from an alternate universe. Yes, thank you, just a little. Thank you, friends. Have a good day. Goodbye.